All right, welcome back to a new vid, and today we're gonna be doing a update 4.5 sword tier list. As you know, um, coming along with the 4.5 update or update 4 update, I don't even know at this point. But anyways, a bunch of balance changes have been made. You know, a bunch of uh, the vertical range on swords, uh, the new M1 stat or like the M1, uh, what, what's it called, like the M1 damage from like fast swords to slow swords. So a bunch of things got gutted. And oh yeah, that's the Twitter by the way. You should follow the you should follow the Twitter. Just saying. But anyways, so a bunch of things got gutted, uh, and a bunch of things got buffed, and a bunch of things got passively gutted, and a bunch of things got passively buffed, coming along with the Soro nerf. So uh, we're just gonna go over the uh, new swords. I'm gonna be saying why they're in whatever tier they're in, whatever tier I think they should be in, and then yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get started. So we're gonna go ahead as always, you know, with the tier list. We're just gonna start off with the uh, the swords, you know. Okay, so we I just added a new tier list or a new tier real quick for the uh, one SS and two SS swords. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. Uh, it's gonna go from it's gonna go from greatest. We're gonna do from greatest to worst, like like best to like worst. So of course the best being in my opinion this one I think. I think it goes like this. It goes I don't win. I think this is Rose Katana Musashi's Rose Katana, and then it goes Musashi's Crimson Katana. And then it goes Kraken Sword, and then I believe after Kraken Sword comes uh, the CV Sword. Yep. And then it comes Ryu's Blade, then Sky Blue, and after Sky Blue, of course, you have the uh, regular Katana, which you get off the game. So yeah, this is just the sword style. These, you know, this is what you use for like, you know, your sword base damage, whatever. So these don't really count. I'm just showing you how like best damage to like best damage buff to least damage buff when using one SS and two SS. As you know, they get a damage buff because of the sword style. Anyways, though, um, the uh, first weapon we have up that we're gonna go ahead and and rate is the Basento. Um, you can't you can't really see Basento right here, but this is Basento. So anyways, uh, along so a lot of people are gonna disagree with me. But Bicento is F tier, in my opinion. Bicento is just horrible at like everything. You have end lag on your on your uh, barrage move, which is dumb. You know you get caused to easily just get M1 out of it. And then the R move is an easy PB for people. You know no matter how long you hold it, no matter like when it goes off, as soon as you they see that shit slam down, they, it's just an easy PB. You know, I do it all the time. It's it's, it's it's honestly not that good for uh, PvP grinding, maybe. But in my opinion, even with Gura, still not that good. Anyways, uh, gonna go ahead and go to the next weapon now, cause yeah, Bicento, Bicento bad. Do not use Bicento in update 4.5. It got got it even like worse now. But I mean, it is good now because of the damage buff. But still, I don't recommend using Bicento when you can use other weapons. So the next weapon is CC. You know. CC got pretty gutted as well because of the fast because of the fact that it has fast and one speed. Um, it starts doing less damage now, but that, in my opinion, that doesn't even matter. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say that CC is a low S tier, just because of the fact that you can still do a lot of stuff with the CC freeze, and you can still do a lot of a lot of good things with the with the CC freeze. I just said that twice, anyways. And it has a heal move, so in my opinion. CC is still S tier, still good for PvP, good with Black Leg, still gonna be pretty good with Sora, but because of the fact that move stacking is not in the game anymore and Afro dashing, it kind of guts it a little bit, but it might, it's still gonna be at S tier just because of how good it is. Next weapon we have is Crab Cutlass. Now, coming with 4.5, update 4.5, Crab Cutlass got horrendously gutted for you nerf the airtime, the airtime when you up tilt someone. And he he also nerfed uh, the pull time for this, so he made the pull time longer for uh, Crab Cutlass Lunge. So that just made uh, up tilt into Crab Cutlass Lunge uh, not true anymore, like at all whatsoever. And so that kind of sucks now, and you can't really move stack, so that makes the R move kind of harder to hit, like in the combos with. Yeah, it's still possible, but at the same time, it's still pretty hard. So now, in my opinion, the Crab Cutlass is at C because with like. Because with 700 points in sword, you're only getting like 30 M1 damage with Crab Cutlass, and that's just that's horrible. Like now, that's just horrible. So the next weapon we have is Elo's Hammer. Now Elo's Hammer, um, 
it, it got kind of buffed, you know, with the, the whole M1 thing that made it like do even more damage. And if you just dump a lot into into Eos Hammer, it the the Pound Festival is insane. I think you do you can I think you can do like 70 a hit, so or 70 a pound from the Pound Festival. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this at I'm gonna say like low A tier. Like it's good actually. Mm, I don't know. I would prefer to use other weapons, uh, and it did kind of get gutted with the moose stack. It got it got buffed but gutted because of the moose stacking. So you can't re it's, you can't really hit the arm move or pound festival without uh, without up tilting anymore. And also the E move is kind of predictable and it can be an easy PP. So I'm gonna say high B tier. I don't think it belongs in A tier. I think there's better swords in it. But so yeah, uh, high B tier is good. Next sword is is flowers. Now, honestly, flowers did not change whatsoever. Flowers always be, flowers is always gonna be like a good a good high B tier. I think I think we put it above Eos Hammer. You know, flowers didn't change much. Still good high B tier. You know, it's, it's good for the stun and it gives stamina, but the stamina moves in, is kind of useless. But it, does, it has it is a good stun move, so it's a good high B. -tier. The next next sword is uh, Golden Hook. You know, we all know this is a. It kind of depends though, because if you have Suna, it makes it good, but if you don't have Suna, it kind of makes it bad, and you can't move stack, so now it's just awful to hit the golden, uh, the hook, the hook, unless you up tilt into it, that's the only way you can get it, you can't, you can't really do, you can't really make a golden hook, what was it called, a pierce move, like true, without, um, with, without up tilting, and I mean, yeah, you can use Suna and get that extra lunge, or extra, extra range from it, but that's only if you have Suna. So I'm gonna say that it's low B tier. Oops, didn't I mean to move that? I'm gonna say it's low or not B tier, C tier, low C tier, below crack colors. Just because of the fact that you, it, to make it good, it has to be viable with like with uh, Suna. So yeah, I mean, if, if you have Suna with it, I probably put it high C tier, low B tier because of stamina drain and all that. But that's about it. Uh, next move we have is pole. Next move, next sword. Next sword we got is pole. In my opinion, pole is high A tier. I'm just putting it at high tier right now, just because of the fact that uh, what's it called? Um, it has a combo extender. It has an all right block breaker. You can like throw it out unexpectedly, get the block breaker. But in my opinion, it's still not viable. The block breaker not viable in like PvP. Besides for the fact that if you're going against holding, someone that's holding block a lot. But uh, recently people are starting to find out more and more about uh, what's it called? About pole and the uh, the pole counter, actually, whatever damage you take, it will it will negate the damage. So let us say you uh, you know you, you get hit with you get hit with a uh, magma fist, right? Or whatever you, you get hit with a Rokugan, whatever. But you're using pole counter, pole pole counter will like negate the damage. So you won't take any damage, and the counter will go off. You'll swing. But um, people are now starting to find out about this, and I, I didn't really say anything because I've known about this um, pole thing since update 3, but I just didn't say anything because there's a thing in update 3 where if you were to use pole counter and you were to reset, it would actually bring you back to life because it was negating the reset count, uh, the reset damage. It, it thought of it like you were taking that much damage in like two seconds, and so it would just bring you back to life and you'll be fine. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's basically how that is, and so yeah, pole, and then also yeah, pole with like Mink and a Hie, that's like really good, that's like, ooh, because of, because with Mink, you have guaranteed Mink stun, and I want to put that at low A tier, or low S tier, so yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put like, I'm gonna put pole on the brink of S tier, like on the, like very edge, the actual very edge of S tier, just cause of how good pole is, you know, it, 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 it's really good, in my opinion, with the mink stun. So, and then we'll move on to the next weapon. Uh, the next weapon being that it is Gravity Blade. Now, Gravity Blade, eh, always gonna be high, high C tier. My, mm, yeah, it's always gonna be C tier. Gravity Blade is just, it is, is good, but it's not the best. It's not that good. So, it's always gonna be high C tier, or mid C tier, my bad. Uh, next weapon we have is Hollow's Fang. Now we all know coming with the, with the actually I believe the two new weapons for for the end. You know we're gonna we're gonna move on. So anyways, Santa's Bells is next for now. Uh, Santa's Bells is also gonna be A tier. Come on, Santa's Bells is easy heal move, easy good for grinding. You know you can heal your teammates. Good for two v twos, five v fives, heal your teammates, heal yourself. It's always gonna be A tier. It's, it's just an overall decent weapon. Uh, Karibachi. 
gonna put that at A tier as well, high A tier, or like mid A tier. Just cause Karibachi, good block breaker, and a good barrage move. But the thing is, it did get kinda gutted, coming with update 4.5, you can't move stack into any of the moves anymore, so you can't catch people off guard. But overall, because of that damage buff, dam the M1 damage buff for it being slow in one, is still really, really good. So, uh, Karibachi is, in my opinion, always going to be mid A, mid mid -A tier. And now we have a uh, Kraken Greatsword. Uh, Kraken Greatsword is still pretty good, but it kind of got worse with, without the move stacking. But, I mean, the, the amount of M1 damage you can do with Kraken Greatsword is insane. Like... If you just dump in everything into crack and great sword, you do so much in one damage. So for that reason, I would put it at low A tier or low S tier. Yeah, the moves are good, but in my opinion, without the move stack, it's just a lot harder to hit the moves. I'm not saying you can't, but it's just a lot harder. Uh, next, we have Trident. Uh, Trident. Oh my God, this thing got gutted. But in my opinion, it's still Trident will always be low S tier because of the fact. Actually, no, it kind of did get really gutted. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Trident low eight a low eight tier. A lot of people are gonna disagree with me, or, or high eight tier. I bet a lot of people are gonna disagree with me, but I'm telling you, like this move stacking just made weapons a lot worse because of the fact that it's harder to hit or land these moves, and it's it's not true to land these moves. You can't do up to Trident uh, impel because that would just you know you'd be hurting yourself. Anyways, we're gonna move on now. We're gonna we have here we have a uh, Hollow's Dagger. So Hollow's Dagger is actually my favorite weapon at the moment. It is a extremely good weapon, so I'm gonna put that high S here. It's such a good weapon. You got a TP move, it lets you get out of combos, and you have a good block breaker, very fast block breaker. Not super fast, but it is a fast block a fast block breaker. Um it does have the fastest M1 speed in the game, which is amazing. Also being the fact that you have like two free combo extenders because you can turn the TP move into a combo extender as well as the uh, the R move or the block breaker for housing you know block breaker. Sure doesn't have much range, but I mean it's still goaded. Um, so next weapon we have, next and final weapon for now we have is the Scythe, uh, Jester Scythe. We all know who Jester Scythe where that belongs. Jester Scythe in a, is the most broken weapon in Uplay 4.5. This thing's both of its moves have hyper armor. Both of its moves, or not both of its moves, it has a broken ass block breaker. It pulls in from Afghanistan. Like I'm not even trying to joke around. It literally pulls in from such a far range, and you can. And both of its moves are combo extenders. Both moves have hyper armor. Both moves are combo extenders. I I don't know. I, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be for real. Like also also <laughs> um, for real though. I don't know what for you is doing, man. Like. Please, for you. If you see this, let me be a tester, bro. I know what I'm doing. I don't. I don't know why you would nerf. Like, okay, I, I get why you would nerf crab colors. I get why you would nerf a fast and one speed. But at the same time, how are you gonna do that and then add something like Jester Scythe? You gave both of its move high primary and you made both of its move combo extenders. Sure, I don't know if you made meant to make both of its move combo extenders, but the fact that I found out how to do it uh, just goes to show that I should be tester. You know, I, I you know, slide me something, I know something. If any devs are watching. But anyways, it's all jokes. I would love to it though, but this is, in my opinion, update 4.5's uh, tier list. This is for PvP. I did forget to mention that. This is for PvP. Well, I did mention some stuff about grinding, but mainly for PvP, you know? Anyways, that's going to be the end of the vid. Uh, you, can, you can choose to agree or disagree or not, but I think this is the most based. Uh, <laughs> based. I don't even know why I said that, but I think this is the most valid 4.5 tier list. Sword tier list for PvP, in my opinion. Just because, uh, yeah, I've been having a long experience. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Uh, you can choose to agree or not. Don't really matter. It's an opinion. So, uh, yeah, I'm out.